part three on big room synth in DJ Suketu Unplugged. That's right, the first two episodes to create a big room house synth, we looked at the inbuilt VSTI of Logic Pro X, which was called ES2. In the second episode, our DAW was still Logic Pro X, but we used the third party VSTI, which is silent. This, the third and the final episode on Big Room Synth, we are going to be using another third party VSTI, which is called Massive. Well, this is once again a massive VSTI. It, you can do a lot of stuff with it, but I'm going to take you through the simplest way of making a nice Big Room Synth with Massive. One more thing. A very, very popular DJ uses this VSTI extensively and actually just uses it to the T. Yep, Skrillex, the guy who makes some really killer dubstep tunes. So that's some trivia for you on DJ Suketu Unplugged. Let's dive into Massive and making a big room synth. Well, let's take a closer look at Massive and how to create your synth. Well, like always, I'm going to be using Logic Pro X and I've told you in the previous episodes, just go up to the plus sign, create a software instrument, Go down to your inspector, to the instrument section, drop down menu, go down to audio unit instruments, native instruments and select massive. That's right and what opens up is a window like this. This is how massive looks. Scary isn't it? Well the first time when I also opened it I was like oh my god what the hell is this thing? Well it's not that scary, it's pretty user friendly and nice once you get into it. So let's do. The first thing that we're going to be doing again is working with the oscillator one. Like you notice in every single VSTI, there are different oscillators. This time as well, we are going to be using three oscillators. Let's start with oscillator number one. What we are going to be doing in oscillator number one is on the left hand side, there's a pitch. We are going to take this pitch to plus 12 and go to 21 cents. So it's 12.21. We leave these knobs just the way it is, the amplification intensity, let them be the way it is. Second, we go down and go to oscillator number two. What we do in oscillator number two is just give the amp a slight bit of volume, but we do not change the pitch at all. If you notice, even in the ES2, oscillator two, we never touch the pitch at all. It's the same way in massive as well. Do not touch the pitch or the sense, just give it a little bit of volume from the amplifier. Just below that, the oscillator three. Now in oscillator three, like we did in the ES2, we are gonna be increasing it by 21 cents again. There we go. We are done with the oscillators, just about put the amp all the way to the top. And right now, the sound will sound something like this. Well, we are getting there once again, but a little bit more work to do. Like I told you when we did the big room synth in Logic Pro X's ES2, I told you that if you give a little bit of a noise element to your synth, it can just sound a little bit rough, muffled and grungy and give it that really, you know, hard sort of a feel, you know, when you're playing in a club or something. So just below under the modulation oscillator and oscillator 3 is the noise section. You activate it by just clicking on it and you see the blue light coming on. You get the color all the way to the top. From the noise, make sure you select the white noise and nothing else. Give it a little bit of amplification and just with the noise, this is what it's going to sound like. Can you actually feel the difference when I increase the noise? Well, anyways, I think that much noise is just good enough to give you that flavor and feel. Next up, we're going to give it some more effects. That's right. Massive again, just like Silent, has a lot of built-in effects. So what we're going to be doing first is using the built-in effects before we go on to the effects in Logic Pro X. It's the first effect. If you go to the effects section one, there's effects one which is activated with the blue light on and none is written over there. Go down to the drop down menu and select reverb. We've always used reverb to give that broadness and that wide feel to a big room synth, right? So that's what we're going to be doing again. Give it a little bit of wetness, Increase the color, slight bit of less density, and let's see how it sounds. Sounds pretty good. I think the reverb somewhere at about uh, 9 o'clock sounds nice. But again, one more thing I want to mention over here that all this tweaking and everything just depends on each producer and each producer on his own. I might like something, you may not like it. So just go ahead and do experiment with it. Whatever sounds best to your ears is music. So that's about it. Next, we go to the effects two. It's activated already with the blue line. What we do is go down to the chorus. That's right, just like in the ES2, we are gonna be getting the chorus into it to give it a few more layers. Again, get the wetness up a little bit. 
reduce the depth slightly, maybe give it a little bit more rate and let us see how this sounds. Sounds pretty good. Next up, we go on to the EQ, put it on by activating and clicking on the light. Once again, what we have to do is reduce the low frequencies slightly, increase the high frequencies a little bit and the sound totally changes to this. Can you actually feel the high frequencies hitting you? Really amazing. Next up, the last and the finishing touch to make this synth absolutely complete, go down to the matrix and select voicing. When you go down to the voicing, this particular window opens up. Out here, center is clicked, but we are, our synth is actually notes of chords. Because there are chords, what we do is go down and select chord. So it makes sure that it plays all the notes of the chords properly. Next up, we have already got 16 voices and in unison, we go up to 4. Put this on and this is what it's going to sound like. That's right. Once again, in massive, a big room synth just like that. Also, to tweak this up, you can go down to the logic, to the inspector, put in more effects if you want to put another EQ, you want to give it some delay, whatever you like. Like I told you, it's your ears and whatever sounds good to your ears is music. This is just a guide so you can get started quickly and make your own EDM track and drop it at your next party. Well, stay tuned to DJ Saketu Unplugged and we are going to be going into how to make nice grungy bass lines, dubstep and electro bass lines and of course, we are going to be talking more about compressors and how to compress your kick and bass line. Well, that's about it from DJ Saketu Unplugged this week.